I don't know. There's somebody to watch it. If my mouth is moving at the same time, it might not happen in 10 minutes. Okay? So um, I might have Chris. She's getting her lunch now. Do what? I'm going to do my 10 minutes, 10 voice thing, and I'm, my mouth might not be moving so much at all. I will get it done in 10 minutes. So we're going to have to do it. We've got 12 minutes. And I'm going to. I think we're going to sell this kit online. The first toy is a three pot cup forager. Fairly easy. Tie a knot. Go ahead and string a pot cup. Something to cover the opening. Space it off, you know, a couple inches. Tie another knot. Repeat the, the process there. Fairly easy. and then you can tie it onto the cage. You can put a different treat, whatever you want in there, and just brought almonds, because that's the only thing that I use in, in my toys, uh, as far as uh, in my factory, to embed in things. Um, almonds in the shell. Toy number one, you can just tie it on the side of the cage. Okay? Toy number two, is baby links are great for uh, for uh, stringing toys, you can add more parts onto the onto these strands. I have these uh, waffle balls. Yeah. Um, you can just hook it on there. You can. And here's where my thumbs are gonna <laughs> go for me. If you want to do thumb joint replacement? I'm too too chicken to do it, so I'm gonna live with it as long as I can possibly stand it. So we've got some some of your favorite treats in there. Um, some uh, crinkle shred, tie them up. These little nose pliers are great for, for uh, grabbing crinkle shred out of the box and stocking it in. Uh, just, there's oh, another, wow, another quick toy. Okay. Yeah, but I have to ask, where do you find those slotted with them? I had them specifically made for me, and I import them. Okay. Because they're make great as for a Yeah, so <laughs> make them for toys.com. Yeah. I use them in the in the, the Superbird one. This is a palm spring, is what I call it, and uh, I'm making a millet holder here. A natural millet holder. So my thumbs. Just a simple little little toy for for little birds. Now this is the poly rope that I mentioned earlier that is a safe synthetic uh, uh, fiber to use uh, the way it's woven. This one, I just tie a pair of link on. This is getting the box folded the right way, as usual. So it's just going to be, it can be either a foot toy or somebody has hands that want to work right. This is what I Okay, take another half strip of leather, tie a knot in it. And did you use a drill to drill the hole? Nope, in there? Help the hole with a pair of scissors. Okay. Or a pair of pliers in the box. I'm going to put that through, feed it through the top here, and I'm going to go ahead and put a couple couple nuts or whatever in there, some more universally popular crinkle shred. We're going to pull it taut, tie another knot, and just decorate it with something else they can they can play with. Again, you can cut this off and turn it into a, to a foot toy, or you can hang it from the from the cage. You'll probably be able to reuse the, the leather thong on something else. And this was a really easy one. Cheat helps me get things done in ten minutes. But this is a just these again. These rings are great. Yes. Uh, uh, another foot toy, or you can attach it, you know, from the bars of the cage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what do we got here? Jeez, uh, we 
What are we doing here? Okay, we're going to make a swing. Excuse me. Use a leather. And yeah, I forget. Forget. My configuration on this. I got my cheap looking picture. So my clock is running. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Look at that. No, that's our thought. That's a good thought. Very organized. There we go. You can put a little treat, hide a treat in here if you wanted to, I suppose. Um, could have put another wheel on here. Eat up top. And use our favorite link. Tie knot. Cut off the, the extra extra string there. Or I suppose you could even uh, hang uh, we can put another couple of beads and tie another knot off the, off the end of it so you got to play it around. So there's a there's a swing. Mm -hmm. I think you Even my African that gray that will go on a swing this size. He goes nuts on it. It's small for a swing. Uh, well, the next one is a, is a skewer toy. Here. Okay. They sell these straight skewers on the, on the site as well. I think I have another fucking dirty place. I think I'm going to go there. Um, it's hard. It's hard. So there's so many people that are going to go up and down. Yeah, I think I go to the stainless steel page. And we'll see it. Okay. I'm going to have to stab myself here. <laughs> um, That's always good. Mahogany pods are a big favorite of my birds. Several other people's birds, so I've had to start bringing them in at a fairly high volume. I know she was out of them for a while, and then I had the ones I saw and I ordered a whole bunch. When she told me she was going to have them forever, I said, okay, I'll bring mine here this time. But I wanted to give them a little bit of a little bit of a little bit And you've got a nice destructible foraging toy. Mm -hmm. um, I like that one. This one, the only thing you got to supply for your own kit. Again, it's uh, you know these paper, toilet paper uh, tubes make great little things. Simple little forager with this. Oh, oh. Oh. Stuff in, so it pokes out on the bottom, pokes up at the top. And we'll tie it on the cage again. Just a simple little one. But she treats it. Okay, what are we down to? Um, don't have a microwave here. We talked about the popcorn ball. Yeah. That's what it looks like. The pop's all full in there. Mm -hmm. uh, every, all five of Chris's birds. Went right for it. So I mean, is, is you use microwave popcorn out of the bag or do you use just regular popcorn? I, I, use, I use regular uh, popcorn, uh, white corn. Okay. And then I'm going to see what type of a can do with this. Okay. We've got some more of these things. They're completely reusable, Keep repurposing them. Uh, and I'm going to make a roll up to it. This is just a palm fiber mat. Roll it as tightly as I can. How do you know that those things have not been created? Well, I know because, because I know I know what my specifications are when I okay. import things and okay. buy things. So um, I uh, work with trusted sources. But if you're going to buy something like that from IKEA or like a like a Target in in the home decor section, don't you wouldn't. Know. Uh, you can smell it. Pop this right on Just here. Get it from a yeah. bird, bird toy store. You can put put some treats in there. And again, <coughs> entice them to go to that area with something colorful and fun. <laughs> the shred. That's it. Did I get it in ten minutes? You did. You did. Yes. 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 work on creating some kits like this to put on to make your own bird toy site. It, you know, 
it would be a, ten toys for less than four bucks a toy with a lot of parts that could be repurposed and would be packed in the quantities that you want. So you wouldn't have to, like normally people would have to buy, you know, maybe 12 bagels at a time and 20 of something else at a time or whatever. Then you have lots of leftover parts. So I've had a lot of folks ask for kits, you know, with instructions. You know, they can simply just sit down and do something put it together without a lot, a lot, of, a lot of thinking. So I have... You guys have um, where did the tickets go? Oh, 